Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you very much to CSR Europe for bringing us together uh, to share our experience and ideas on how to turn the concept of CSR into practical uh, collaboration and action. And Hitachi is proud to be a member of CSR Europe and to support its work. Not only is it the most influential business membership network in Europe, uh, but it provides us uh, with best practice, critically, uh, on how to focus our social innovation uh, in ways which, uh, which align themselves with European social aspirations. <clears throat> in 2006, our company developed two major objectives. The first was to develop our technology not only for Japan, but for the global market. And the second was to make sustainable development the focus of what we offer to our customers. More than 100 years ago, our founder's aim was to produce local technology to serve, to serve the needs of a particular city in the north of Japan, dependent at that time on copper mining. And his vision for the company was that its technology should meet the needs of the community. And since uh, Hitachi's creation, uh, our view has always been that technology should meet social needs, and that comes uh, to underpin all our global operations. And today we use the phrase social innovation business to express our focus on providing solutions which help our customers to meet their own goals of sustainable growth. By doing so, it's our belief that we can create a win-win situation for our customers, for society, and for our own enterprise. Enterprise 2020 has helped stimulate, stimulate collaboration between small and very large companies in finding solutions to today's difficult business issues. Its 12 projects at European level have enabled more than 40 leading companies in Europe to take strong leadership roles in steering the development of new solutions. In particular, Hitachi is pleased to be involved in and has learned a great deal uh, from the business-wide projects on human rights a demographic change, and measuring non-financial performance. At national level, all the national partnership, uh, partner organizations within CSR Europe's network are providing opportunities for companies like ours to progress the Enterprise 2020 agenda in local markets. For example, Hitachi benefits greatly from the work of business in the community in the UK on gender diversity, and other topics such as community engagement. Taken together, these types of activities lead to practical changes in the way businesses are organized and operated. The CSR Europe's Enterprise 2020 Impact Assessment shows that the members of CSR Europe use these outcomes uh, to influence their planning and strategy or to implement new processes. But most significantly, Enterprise 2020 demonstrates that CSR is not simply about compliance with standards or following reporting requirements. It highlights how business can find new business opportunities while at the same time contributing to advancing societal goals. And this is what Hitachi has been focusing on in Europe and how our business activities reflect the EU's priorities of smart, sustainable and inclusive growth. First, in the information society, second, through environmental improvement and the low-carbon society, and thirdly, by creating employment. For instance, uh, our Echo Data Center technology is designed to lessen the environmental impact of the exploding demand for data storage and processing. According to a McKinsey study, by 2020, the carbon footprint of the computers that run the internet will be larger than that of air travel. So that's an obvious target uh, to go for. We're also collaborating with other companies in the UK's Energy Technologies Institute to develop the information layer which will support uh, all sorts of systems for delivering heat, power, and information to consumers in a carbon efficient manner. Additionally, our rail and maintenance technology uh, has been developed with sustainable, smart, and inclusive priorities at its core and the trains we plan to build in the United Kingdom as part of the Intercity Express program will set a new standard in being light and fast and energy efficient. This project also provides an important boost to employment in the UK. 
Energy is a core market for Hitachi and an enormous growth market for many companies here. Uh, in our case, our grid management technology aims to provide a stable supply of power and overall optimization of power transmission and distribution systems as more and more renewables are added to the energy mix. Our partners, the power distribution companies, will benefit from being able to deliver electricity more efficiently and reliably from a more complex network of generation sources than the system uh, can provide at this, uh, at this point. The operators will get much more detailed information about supply and demand, improving their ability to manage the system and shift demand to off-peak times. Greater information and control will enable users, whether industry or households, to monitor their usage and to reduce unnecessary consumption. Smart grids thus intelligently integrate the action of all these participants in the system. And you may recently have heard about Hitachi's acquisition of Horizon Nuclear Power in the UK. This transaction was completed just this week, and we are delighted that this purchase uh, will enable us to begin uh, planning to build new power stations uh, at, up to two, at two sites in the United Kingdom, uh, thus contributing uh, not only to fill, uh, filling the potential energy, energy gap in the UK economy, but also to the vision of a long-term, uh, low-carbon and secure and affordable energy supply. So, in conclusion, I just make three points. Um, firstly, uh, Hitachi will continue to invest in social innovation business in Europe and to collaborate with partners who bring complementary expertise to achieve common goals for smart, sustainable and inclusive growth. Secondly, Enterprise 2020 has helped us as a company in very practical ways to revise our, uh, refine our social innovation strategy. And we want to continue to internalize the benefits of participating in its activities. And finally, I believe that today's uh, event and discussion is a very clear signal of the determination of CSR Europe to ensure that the development of new products and services and the way companies work fulfill the real needs of the society of Europe in the future. And we thank you for making that hugely valuable contribution. Thank you very much.